Hey guys, I'm Will Walker and welcome back to the William Walker Company Project Channel. So recently, a client of mine called me up and said, Hey Will, how's it going? Pretty good. You know we love wine, right? Recently, we came in possession of a wine barrel. Really, that's pretty cool. Yes, we were wondering, could you make a coffee table for us? I think so. The first thing to do is to figure out how to cut the barrel in half. I used a ratchet strap to define the line around the barrel, then I took some self-tapping sheet metal screws and drove them through the metal bands so they wouldn't come loose once I cut them. I took a marker and marked the bands all along the ratchet strap before taking it off. Then I secured the vines that were wrapped around this barrel with a 16 gauge finish nailer. I used my angle grinder with a cutoff wheel to carefully cut the bands on my marker line. I tacked a straight piece of scrap along the top and bottom and used that as a guide for my reciprocating saw to split the barrel. Once the bands are cut, as well as the top and bottom, there should be nothing holding the barrel together, so a few whacks with a rubber mallet work great to separate the two ads. Down the shop, I took a belt sander to all edges, especially the sides I cut the reciprocating saw. It's not exactly a finesse tool. Then I marked where I wanted the barrel to sit in the base at around 5 and 3 quarters from all sides, and measured the diameter of the barrel at my marks, which was about 26 inches. So the client wants the finished table to be around 23 inches. The deepest part of the barrel is 15 and a half inches. There's a 2 and a half inch rise where I want to rest the barrel on the base. So I need to lift the barrel 10 inches. A 2 by 12 is 11 and a half inches, which wouldn't leave me much for the cradle. So we can pick it up another inch and a half at the bottom cap, which would make it a little better, but if we add feet to the bottom of that, we'd have even more. So now I need to come up with a little jig to mark the radius. 11 and a half minus all of those measurements we just measured equals seven inches. So I mark seven inches on a 24 inch two by 12 at 12 inches, then drill two holes in a piece of scrap that's 13 inches. That's half the diameter of the barrel. Line up one hole with the seven inch mark and screw the other end to a block and mark the radius. I cut the radius out with a jigsaw, then transfer the layout to the other main base piece. I was on a deadline to finish this before we went up to DC, so there were some things that didn't get filmed. Off camera, I chamfered the edges of the cradle and cut two stretchers. To get the measurement for the stretchers, I just measured between the two marks along the length of the barrel, then subtracted three inches. I got everything even and square and held everything snug with some clamps, then used a half inch forcer bit to countersink, then used deck screws to fasten everything. Again, off camera, I cut some bottom caps and feet out of the same southern yellow pine from the 2x12, cut them all to be 2 inches longer and wider than the previous to give me a 1 inch reveal all the way around, and then gave them a chamfer and then used glue and screws to fasten everything. To match the color of the barrel, I'm using Golden Oak Stain from Minwax. Now I'm using my half inch plug cutter to make some oak plugs for those counter sinks. I use plugs all the time. I'll put a link in the description to some plug cutters on Amazon. I'm just using Danish oil on that cut edge to darken it up a bit. All right, guys, that's it for this time. Um, this is a really fun project. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, built it to the uh, client's specifications, um, height and everything. They wanted to match the height of their previous coffee table. Um, so, you know, had to figure that out. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have the glass yet for the top. Um, so when I drove up to DC and delivered it to the client, um, 
we didn't have a top for it. So I didn't get to film that whole delivery process, but I did have the client send me some photos later once they had the glass, um, and I think it turned out really, really cool. Um, really fun project. So if you happen to have a wine barrel laying around, or a bourbon barrel maybe, um, this might give you some ideas uh, on something you can do with that. Uh, I had never cut a wine barrel in half before, so I had to kind of figure that out, which was uh, kind of scary to, you know, make that first cut, but I think it ended up pretty cool. So um, when I did a lot of research before, I couldn't find anything on, you know, the best way to cut a wine barrel in half. Um, I think DIY Pete actually uh, did a similar table, but uh, his wine barrels were already cut in half. So, go figure. Um, so yeah, uh, as of filming this video and posting it, um, I'm about a thousand subscribers. So thank you guys so much. That's really exciting. Um, Please like and subscribe uh, to my channel, comment on any video you see, check out some of my other videos because uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Until next time, guys. Thanks a lot.